This is the corner of Auburn Avenue and Randolph Street in the Old Fourth Ward. This is where most of the story takes place. One day I was riding my bicycle over here and I saw a white man and as he was sweeping his steps there were black people walking the streets and I stood there and began to wonder what it's like for him moving into a historically black neighborhood and also what it's like for the people who live here and I had been begun thinking about the issue of gentrification anyway. One of the characters, the main character, Barlow Reed, uh, lives in a house that he rents and a white couple moves in next door. And uh, Barlow develops a reluctant kind of friendship with the woman of the house. Uh, they both develop, do an awkward dance around race as they try to get to know each other. As they are developing this very awkward relationship, uh, racial tensions are beginning to bubble up in the neighborhood around them. I started my writing career as a journalist uh, in Virginia, and I worked for a time at the Atlanta Journal-Constitution here in Atlanta, and then I moved on to the Washington Post and then took a leave of absence to work on my autobiography. Makes me want to holler. The transition from nonfiction to fiction was a very difficult one because I hadn't done it before. And so I really had to learn as I went along. And so I would come out into the neighborhood as often as possible and watch the people and try to imagine their lives. And that helped me um, in formulating the story and in trying to learn how to write fiction.